All right, let's try AI and observable notebooks 2.0. Got a blank notebook, got AI up, and I'll say load uh, life expectancy uh, by country from the World Bank API. All right, it's going to talk to the World Bank API, filter out some records. Um, let's add a table so I can see better what's in this. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, how about add a choropleth map? All right, so that almost worked except the map is all gray because these country codes, I think, don't match the data that we are getting uh, from the World Bank. So I'll say, let's say, show the country code in the table. Uh, okay, so these are two digit codes. And what about in the other data? Show the country codes from the World Atlas data. going to make a new cell. Okay, so these are three number country codes, and these are two letter country codes. Okay, it appears that the World Bank data uses two letter country codes, whereas the World Atlas data uses three number country codes. Fix the join. So yes, that's using USGP. It's now making a country code mapping from these two letter codes to three digit numeric codes. It's gonna just list out all these things. We could probably ask it to uh, load that from some data source. Now it's rewriting this map. Hey, there we go. All right, so now I'm going to move that up to the top, all the way up. We'll unpin it, and we will also delete this table. And let's see, oh yeah, so I wanted to move that up there too. We've got a table, great. Now add a title and some brief commentary to the notebook. All right, well, it didn't put the title in the right place, so let's move that up. What does it say? Let's visualize life expectancy data. Do, do, do hover over countries, pretty good. All right, and that is Observable Notebooks 2.0.